Design 3D has a series of palettes, much the same way that, that graphic applications in general have palettes that are used to control objects and data in a scene. Like many applications, Design 3D has a main tools palette. We can move objects and manipulate them. We can create new objects. We can insert cameras and lights. We can control the view rotation from the main tools palette. If we actually want to control an object in terms of its position and its rotation, we want to give it a name, we want to apply materials to it, um, or actually see what materials are applied to it, we would look at it with our object properties palette. In some applications, they would call this an inspector. Um, you know, it's something that generally controls the basic functions or attributes of an object. We can give it a name, we can control its position or its rotation and its scale. And then we can look and see what materials may or may not be applied to it. So that's what the object properties palette is. You'll be working with that quite a bit. The environment palette does pretty much what its name implies. If I wanted to move the interactive light we're using for modeling, I can come over here and grab this little light widget right there. I could insert a new one if I wanted to. And there are various other control parameters for these lights. We're able to control what renders in the background or what doesn't and so forth. The modeling commands palette has various operations that can be used on objects, including subdivision surfaces. You can invoke subdivision surfaces from this palette. So, you know, it's just some generalized functionality for controlling objects and for manipulating objects. The resource palette is an important one. This is one that is used to store resources in your scene. You can have a scene that has a lot of data that doesn't necessarily have to appear in your scene, but you can sort of store it offline as it were. So you can control textures that are applied to an object. You can control 3D geometry. You can have that down here. You can have various effects that are applied to objects and so on and so forth. So this is just sort of a general repository of data for your scene. And finally, we have the details palette, which has an undo history. So if I were to move my object around, or if I were to create a new object or two, the construction history would allow me to step backwards and forwards through those operations. So the palettes are generally pretty easy to use in Design 3D.